Hey guys, so we just finished installing this aftermarket temperature gauge, guys. It works awesome because we could not fix the original one. It was too complicated. So we got this awesome uh, motorcycle slash car one. Works great. In this video, I'm gonna take you back in time and show you exactly how to do this step by step. Okay guys, taking you into the past right now before we installed it and it does work great. Taking you into the past right now. Here it is guys, an aftermarket temperature gauge. In this video, we are gonna install this temperature gauge into this car, but you can literally install this into any car, guys. Let's get into it right away, everybody. Guys, let's take care of business. Okay, guys, so here is what we got off Amazon. This is everything it came with. It was around $30 on Amazon. Came with a temperature gauge that displays. We'll have to stick it on somewhere. Not too sure where. Um, came with some like sticky things and some connectors. We might use these, might not. A couple clamps, a couple more wires. And it came with this. This is your sensor that this reads the temperature and it travels through the wire to this. And this will show you the temperature of your engine, guys. They do make different sizes. See, this is an 18 millimeter. Uh, hold the camera for me, Ryan. So 18 millimeters, guys. So it's 18 millimeters, see, on the outside. So the hose has to be 18 millimeters on the inside to fit in on this. Okay, uh, first thing we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna install this. Okay, guys, so this is gonna be different on every car, but so what we did is usually you will have a big hose like this that runs through your radiator and then you'll have another big hose at the bottom. So we're not using those hoses, but you will also have two smaller hoses that run through the firewall into your heater core, right? That heats your inside of your car when you're driving in the cold weather and then it runs back into the engine. So there are those two lines, see? Right there. So we uh, measured them with this right figured out uh what size hoses those are and then we measured the inside of the same hose that i had in like scrap piles of hoses right figured out we need this little guy here right so what we're gonna do is this is so simple actually uh we're not even gonna drain the the fluid like we're gonna cut this right here guys i'm just gonna find a nice spot with some straight we're gonna cut a little section out of it Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a section out of here about this big, just the size of this, right? So then we can slide the hose on on one side and then slide it on the other side and put a couple clamps. And this will be our sensor for the heat. And remember, the fluid runs through this and comes back and these get hot first. They even get hot before the radiator gets hot because there's a thermostat that shuts off the coolant going through the radiator but right away it runs through the heater core. In most cars, there is the odd car that has like a valve that shuts the water off, but most cars it runs all the time. And then there's like a door that shuts the heater core. So the hot, so the air doesn't blow through the heater core, but it's always running through the heater core. So in this particular car, these are gonna be perfect uh, because they always get hot. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get Ryan here to, uh, Cut that and we're gonna slide this on with some clamps, guys. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna do before we even put this in, so you'll notice the sensor here. Um, I'm gonna say there's not much here to prevent this from leaking. So we got some Teflon tape. So you would wrap Teflon tape around it. Or also another cool product is some basically liquid Teflon tape. So we can use one or the other. Uh, I think we're going to use, I don't know, we're going to use this one. So let's wrap it up. Okay, so you just wrap this around. Don't get any on the actual end there, on the sensor part. See what, we're, see what I'm doing, guys? A baby could do this. You got this, guys. So wrap it around nice a few times.
Okay, that should do it. So now we're gonna screw this in. And we could even use a little bit of this just to make it extra. So there's absolutely no chance of there being a leak. See, so put a little bit in like this. See that? Put a little bit in like this. Okay, now screw it in nice and tight all the way. So put it tight, obviously don't break it, but uh, that should do it. Once it's all installed, check that for leaks. Okay, that part is done. Let's move on. Okay, see, so there it is in there. Perfectly unscathed ready to center our heat guys okay let's go install this part pretty easy all righty what's the next step all right bud okay this is what we're doing guys so right over here see this hose all right maybe get a shot from over here this way so make sure you can see that ryan so i'll show you guys in real time what we're doing here so this is what we're going to do we're going to cut this hose right here looks good to me utility knife that this is gonna go there wait clamp sensor like that other clamp see very little very little fluid came out we'll just top it up a tiny bit and that'll be it so there it is, look at that guys. See how easy that was? So now, all we're gonna do off camera, I'm gonna tighten this clamp, and we're gonna tighten this clamp, and this wire, there it is, with a plug, facing towards the firewall. Okay, let me tighten these, see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so we got the, the, both the clamps on. So both the clamps that came with this, they both broke, they're not very good. So I just used two good clamps from Napa, okay so now we got the wire coming out of this there it is with a plug let's move on okay so next we got our gauge here see there's a plug on it and then this is just a positive and a negative 12 volts that's how this works and this one came with it this goes to the sensor so this just plugs into the sensor and then the other side plugs in to this see Boom. Okay, so we have to run this through the firewall, basically. Through the firewall, which doesn't, it sounds scary, but this is actually very easy. Yeah, where do you put uh, the wire through anyways? Okay, so usually guys, what you gotta look around for is, see these type of like plugs? See, there's a plug. That's a firewall plug. A lot of times cars have these in places for like other things. Sometimes you can uh, creep in through like, I don't know, you just gotta look around. The odd time you might have to drill a hole through it. But there's one here, see, you take that out, you run the wire in and it will just come out in the, on the floor in the car usually. Sometimes on this side there's something. You gotta look around and look, I found the perfect thing here. See, look, there is a wire here for something else. We can just squeeze it right through there, guys. No problem. And it will come out on the inside. Like I said, you just gotta get creative and find something to push it through. It's a very small wire, won't be hard to do. Okay, so I got that wire. We're gonna plug this in. See, this just plugs into this. Nothing to it. Boom. And now this, see that hole there? We're gonna run it through that hole. See, you can see light. See, like, you can see light inside here. Let's go inside the car. I'm going to show you guys where that comes out. It's not complicated. If we had to, you could find the spot and just drill a hole with a drill. See, look, can you see that light coming through? See, look, there it is. See, there's that little hole. See, just right up there. 
there's always a spot somewhere. It's not too hard. Don't be scared to drill a little hole through a firewall, guys. Okay, me and Ryan are going to jam that through, and it'll come out right there. See you guys in a minute. On to the next step. Hey, Tom. You got that wire in yet or what? I sure do, guys, and Ryan. So here it is, see? So I got, got it running in. So, I mean, we're going to try to, like, run it underneath this and have it come out over here somewhere, see? Something like that. So there's that wire. There's our gauge, right? We're, we're thinking of maybe sticking it somewhere here. So, I mean, that's all up to you. But anyways, okay. Uh, Ryan's going to grab the camera. I'll show you guys what we're doing next. Okay, so see, this just plugs into this, right? I'm not going to show you how to hide wires, but see, that's just going to go there. And then this thing, we're just going to put it over here like this, right? And then we just have two wires left see these ryan so these I we see. have to hook up to a negative and a positive and the positive can only be on when we turn the key otherwise this thing will be on all the time draining our battery right so okay we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run these wires and then we'll get to a point where we have just these two wires sticking out you guys totally understand what's going on here right so see you guys in a few minutes if i understand then they do Okay, that only took like five minutes. See, we ran the wires underneath, taped this to here, looking good. So now, see, we got these two wires. We need to hook them up to a positive and a negative, uh, only when the ignition's on. So we noticed that in this particular car, see the uh, cigarette lighter? That's where we're gonna get our power from. That only works when the ignition is on. When you turn the car off, there's no power. So this will be perfect. Otherwise, guys, what you could do is you could hook up one of these to the body of your car, which will make a negative. So any metal on the car, you put it with a, with a nut and bolt or whatever, attach it, and then the positive in your fuse box, some of these will only get power when the ignition's on. So you could pull a fuse out and you could stick it into the fuse, which is also another option, but in our case, we're gonna use a cigarette lighter. Seems like easier, so. Uh, like every car is different, but you're gonna have to get to the back of it. So we're gonna pop all this out and we'll see you guys in a few minutes once we got the wires exposed back there. Okay, so we got this out. This is pretty straightforward. Okay, so on a cigarette lighter, the outside is negative. The inside prong in the middle there is positive. Pretty straightforward. So we look at the back, right? You might be thinking, why is there four wires, for example? It should only be two. Well, uh, this is just for the light. So when you turn your lights on, see, this is there's a light in there. It lights up uh, like the outside ring of the cigarette lighter so you can stick it in, you know what I'm saying? And then you have these two wires right here that plug in directly into the back. Can you hold this thing, Ryan? Hey, so how do you know which one's positive and which one's negative? Okay, well, hang on. So there's the two, right? So obviously, if I unplug this, for example, I'll be able to tell which one goes to the center and which one goes to the outside. So, okay, let me unplug this. Okay, so I unplugged it, right? So as you can tell, this one goes to the center, so that is the positive, and this one goes to the outside, so that is the negative. Right, so now I can tell. Negative is the white one with the black line. Positive is the gray one. Pretty straightforward. So all we're gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna cut these, strip these, right? And then we're gonna run this through there. We're gonna get it to that spot. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I have to get creative to run it through. I'll cut these and then we'll hook them up. Okay, so I got this like stiff wire here, see? So what you do is you poke this wire through, like this, for example. Okay, see, and then it comes out here. And then you take this thing, and you can just electrical tape it to it, right? And then you can pull your wires through. Pretty straightforward, right? So I'm gonna attach that, pull it through, and get it out over there. See you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys, so we got the wires. See, there they are. These are the gauge wires. 
and these are the wires for the cigarette lighter, right? So all we're doing is we're taking the negative one. We'll do the, that one first. We do have the key off right now, so nothing shorts out. So there's no power in these. We're just twisting. Twisting wires, guys. Twisting, twisting wires. Twisting these together like this. A little tight, but that's okay. Boom. And then... Do you want me to push the drink uh, holders in for you or what? There we go. Okay, and now we're going to twist these three together. If you're getting that, see, just like that. Taking care of business, guys. Taking care of business. Okay, see what we did? So now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to electrical tape all this so this one doesn't touch that one plug that back in so i'm going to electrical tape this really quick show you guys what that looks like i'm going to do that off camera okay people not saying guys anymore so there it is see taped up okay so now we're going to plug this back into the cigarette lighter put all this back together guys and let's see if the gauge works thanks again tom okay everything is back together the whole installation took about an hour See, this is how we have it. Okay, let's see what happens when we turn the key. Are you guys ready? And it is in Celsius because we are in Canada. Ooh. Look at that. It is showing plus seven Celsius. Funny because that is exactly the temperature it is outside right now, guys. Pretty cool, eh? Check out these cool stickers you even get with it. Makes it even better. You get three of them. And it says, Norxy feel the speed okay we're gonna start the car see if it works like if it actually shows the temperature see you guys in 10 minutes let's see if uh, the temperature gauge works okay guys we ran the car for 15 minutes check it out it works perfect uh, the average car is supposed to run between 75 uh, Celsius to 105 celsius so this is bang on guys uh you know we haven't even really driven it yet so it's perfect so there it is guys that is how you install an aftermarket temperature gauge guys telling you guys right now everybody could use a friend named tom that is like this guy please subscribe